I head down the stairs but stop at the top when I see Luca sitting alone eating cereal. I'm surprised Mother isn't up. Usually, she will keep herself busy by cooking. Since it's short notice, our maid and cook won't be at the penthouse. So in situations like this, Mother will cook. For breakfast, she always makes pancakes, eggs, and bacon. I turn around and head towards my parents' room to see if maybe Mother is sick. I stop in front of the door and lift my hand to knock when I hear sobbing coming from inside. I don't want her to, my mother weeps. Get a hold of yourself, Valentina. You know it is her duty. He might say no. There's still a chance. He will not say no to my offer. Not when the outfit has been weakened like this. But stop crying, father screams and mother shrieks. I rush away from the door and want to cry for being such a coward. I should have rushed in and stopped my father from hitting my mother. I should have stopped it so many times. Eavesdropping again, Angelo taps on my shoulder from behind. You scared the crap out of me. I hold my rapid beating heart. Leave it alone. It's none of our business. Isn't it? Isn't it at least my business? Angelo clenched his fists. You should let her decide. I am her. I know what you're thinking, that you can save mother. Father is much stronger. He'd hurt you too if you got in the way of his business. Let it go. Doesn't it hurt you knowing our mother is his personal punching bag? I shout. Liliana, go take a shower and start getting ready, Luca says from down the hall. He looks angry. Angelo, a word. But that is enough out of you, Liliana. You need to stop acting like a nosy brat. Angelo is right. It's none of your business, Luca growls. He gives me a warning look as if to say he dares me to talk back to him. I press my lips into a thin line and push past them to go to my room. I start the shower in my ensuite bathroom and gather the clothes I'm going to wear to the funeral. The last time I saw the Moretti family was when I was 16. Lorenzo, from what I remember, has two sons, Antonio and Rocco. Both of them were older. Antonio is around Luca's age at 25 and Rocco only a few years younger. They never paid much attention to me considering at the time I was just a stupid teenage girl to them and they were adults in their 20s.